It didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to over... to overhaul her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We sighted her sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. So we have... I think it's basically saying two north, two north, two west, three south. Two north, two west, three south. Two north, two west, three south. Is it? Oh, I have to press the button. Even the elements turn against us. Passage through the cape took us four miles west, and we soon sighted her masts four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy ballast, we would easily overhaul her if only this accursed fog should lift. What is this down here? The keyhole appears to be sealed. Oh. Ah. to get the pieces in place so it's actually open. I see. Unfortunately, I have no key. <laughs> okay. Back to this. Four miles west. Yeah, I can't... I can't go across land. Right, actually, can I go anywhere? Wait, I don't understand. What What do I do here? Can't seem to interact with any of this. Wait a second, what the heck is this? And this key shows a triangle, I don't know the orientation, I'm going to assume the one pointing to the center, it shows it also at the top. Triangle at the top is colored. But this isn't one of those special keys, this is just a normal key. Incredibly well detailed though, freaking beautiful. If anything looks significant at all, it's probably a puzzle. Did I look at this? No. It's been 30 weeks at sea and the crew grow restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share those concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and my investors will not be happy without a return. According to the prisoners, we took off the San uh, uh, Esposito. We should find the Santa, Santa Helena Helena? I don't know, sorry. Santa Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Granada. They were simple swabs, ignorant of all save the workings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. I give them I gave them a place among my crew. The artifact. I wonder if we're teleporting through places the artifact was. Is that a property of the artifact? Opens wormholes or something? Okay. Now we can go through the cape. Okay, four miles west. Two, three, four... Spotted the Helena two. Uh, spotted the Helena four miles to the north of us, and then the Helena cut two miles west. Okay. 
Ooh, it's got that special color. Oh my god. Are we gonna pilot a ship inside of that thing? Oh my god. Um, we have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon, and there she was, six miles to the south. Rapidly, we, cl we closed her down, and she fled east two miles back towards the Cape. Now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the Cape again. Six miles to the south. Oh my god, I actually literally get to freaking pilot this magical ship inside of a box. That is so cool. So there's our compass. Uh, and you just need to hold it in the direction, right? Do I need to match it up with this one? I don't quite understand how this compass works. That's all I needed to do. Okay, I thought I had to do the whole thing listed in the paper. So, six miles to the south. One, two, three, four, five, six. She fled east two miles back towards the Cape. Then she fled north of us by just one mile. Ooh. Weird. I don't like this figurine. That looks like the sort of thing that goes on the front of a ship. Like, here. Ship's wheel. Okay, I saw that there's something up with the sail. Rose. Noticed it looked like this thing was missing the other half. It is. Oh heck yeah. The Santa Helena came apart on rocks at eighteen hundred hours. She heaved as if the bottom had been torn from her and began taking on water at a terrible rate. Only there were no rocks. We approached as close as we dared to try and take on survivors, but only one swam clear of the wreckage. He is some sort of scholar. A wild-eyed wreck of a man in tattered blood-stained rags, 
clutched in his white knuckled fist was some sort of sculpture that he babbled was of unimaginable power and worth. It seems our prize may not have gone with the Helena. I've had it moved to my quarters for safekeeping. The artifact. I think I'm going to turn off the hint system, just so far I haven't needed it. It doesn't bother me that much, the little thing that pops up in the corner, but I'll, I'll turn it on if I feel like I need a hint. It is the natural tendency of this world to twist itself into ever more elab elaborated arrangements. Like the spirals of a vortex at once both the pattern and the system seems as though each room is itself a part of a wider apparatus. You must tune the room to find the glyph, and tune the glyph to find the door. All must be aligned, but to what purpose? Am I the explorer? The prisoner? I'm guessing the scholar that came from the Helena is the person who has been writing us notes. A.S. <clears throat> Nautical measures. R. Shaw and Co. Falmouth. of scales there appears to be markings on it yeah this might go here something goes there that I don't have oh this thing This one has a smaller footprint. I think it goes here. I love how this whole thing just comes apart in stages. So cool. Hold on. Is this thing I can take? Yes, it is. Hexagon bottom. Let's go here. Doesn't look very big, is it? Hold on. No, definitely. Oh, wait, hold on. It can be messed with. <laughs> ah. This game's just delightful. So where's the next plate or disc that I need? It didn't... It wasn't, like, on the lid of this one like it was for the previous one. Checking back at the boat, there's a letter back here that we haven't read. Also from AS. A mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a galleon in full sail? 
With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simply as turning a corner. Will you be following my path, or forging one anew? What sights you must have witnessed, if my own experience is any guide. I'll keep leaving notes, and I urge you to do the same, that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there's something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what. Some earthy tang of reality that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. Ah, I can twist these around. What's their orientation supposed to be? Um, hold on, maybe they're supposed to match something here. Nope. Maybe opposite each other? I think I actually need to use the hint system for this. I don't know which way to turn these. I assume it says somewhere in the environment, but I can't find anything. There's a drawer on the edge of the box's left lid. There must be a way to open it. I did find that off camera, this one, but... You can't open it? Oh, wait a minute. That's what the corners indicate. These things. That's the way they're supposed to be arranged over there. I see. Okay, that was a very good hint. So... Up, up. They basically face inwards. Actually, no, that's not true. These face inwards. These both face up. So... These both face up. These both face inwards. Um, maybe I'm supposed to change the perspective as well. Wait. Oh! I'm not supposed to match this. Whatever I change them to is what this changes to. So... I think it needs to be like this. Oh, that's really cool. Ah, I see. Two have to go into this one. Yeah, that one fits there. That one's a bit small. Probably the two small ones have to go into the big slot. Oh, wait. No, that one doesn't fit. That one plus that one? Nope, doesn't fit. Oh, that doesn't fit either. Oh, this has a little cutout here. That's supposed to be above this bigger piece. It'll fit into it. And then what about... Oh, I guess that's fine. Has a big weight. Yeah, I thought that was rotatable. <laughs> That's so cool. Hmm. Hmm. This 
one's obviously supposed to go in here, but in the other orientation. Is there a way to flip it around? It's hard for me to visualize this. Like, would this flip it? Oh, that would. Yeah. I see. spring. This box looks like it has a lot of steps to it. Uh, it looks like it needs a sort of star-shaped thing inside of the handle, which I definitely don't have. Not the clock spring, no, it's way... N not the right shape and also way too small. Or too big, I guess. Can I do more with this? This thing's just covered in puzzles all over it. Seems like that was it for that part. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that chubby little screwdriver. goes. Something else I found off camera is this. It's supposed to have something in it, obviously. Yes. Ah, I know where that goes. Still no idea about the clock spring. Actually, wait, hold on. Do I know where this goes? Yeah, it's here, right? Slightly opened. Completely opened. That is a clock. Clock spring and the screwdriver are probably for that. <laughs> it's so cool. Flip it back and forth. Uh, nope. Looks like that's where it's stuck right now. Probably because I have to get in the back to replace the spring. Yes, I get to turn it. 
I think this is where the spring goes. Thomas Bradbury? St. Albans? Albans? England? Uh, 1471. Number 1471. Marine Chronometer. So all I can do is set the time. So what time are these supposed to be set to? See if anything changes when I do this, like... Like, do these move faster or slower depending on how close I am or something like that? I don't think so. So I think I'm missing something. Maybe. Then again, there are... There's a symbol here, like two symbols, and then one symbol here. Maybe one's for the hour hand and one's for the minute hand? Nope. Hmm. Number 1471. There is no 14. Is a time mentioned in one of these notes? Ah, here we go. This note here. The Santa, Santa Helena came apart on rocks at 1800 hours. Eighteen hundred hours is six PM. I don't know why that took me so long. Oh uh, no. Yeah, eighteen hundred hours. This is correct. Hold on a second. This weird looking little panel here. Wait. What did that just do? I thought I couldn't activate it yet. I just did it, whatever the thing is. But anyway, I was going to say, I can see through here. And there's a time now that I press this thing. Okay, so it's not the time listed in the note. 250. 250. It's just to like... Oh, it's to slow it down. Gotta slow it down at the right spot. There we go. A key? I forget, what do I need a key for? I think I'm done with the box. Ah, there's a keyhole on the underside of the lid. This is probably supposed to be upright, this whole thing. Diamond-shaped metal casting. Now what's 
that for? Ah, found it. <laughs> it's like metal paper mache. You've successfully navigated the secrets of the ship, yet this grim ordeal will become increasingly challenging. It looks like the flashes we're getting as we're looking at the glyphs are flashes of where each glyph will take us. This, I think, is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to solve this new world that we've just unlocked.